Hey, how's it going? It's Jamie, Crafty DIY Guy. I am back and I have got a Dollar Tree haul for you today. I know, I got another one. This is becoming like a weekly thing with me and um, we're just gonna have to get used to it. What can I say? Um, the items that I picked up today, I'm actually really, really excited about because some of these are brand new. Some of them are like some really cool utility things that I think are just great to have on hand. And um, some of them are, um, yeah, somewhere in between, I guess. I don't know what I was going to say. Um, but before I do get to that, I do want to say thank you, of course, to all of my subscribers and all my friends. Thank you so much for being here. I really, really appreciate you guys. I call you guys my OGs. If you are brand new to the channel, welcome. Hopefully you will stick around and enjoy it. If um, YouTube recommended this video to you, thank you, YouTube. And uh, let's just jump into it. There's some fun stuff in here for sure. Um, I bought some food items actually today too. And uh, I mean, I, I will buy some Dollar Tree food. I, I don't have a problem with Dollar Tree food. And um, but when you can find some brand name stuff, like some Duncan Hines brownie mix, I'm going to be okay with that. And then they had some Chips Ahoy brownie cookies. So I bought that. I try not to buy a whole lot of sweets, but I ended up buying some more. And then uh, they had these uh, these General Mills, like um, Cocoa Puffs breakfast bars. I already had one. So... Um, I bought those. I'm not going to eat them all in one day. But I'll try not to anyway. And uh, socks. Lots and lots and lots of socks. Now, they had some just men's socks. Some stripy ones, which I love. Some polka dotted ones, which I really liked. And then they had some super fun St. Patrick's Day. So they had those. Of course, I had to get those. They had... That one that says Let's Sham Rock. I bought the, um, what is that? Like a, ho a horseshoe. I got some beer. <laughs> telling you, St. Patrick's Day is not going to be the same. Of course, it was kind of the lame last year too, I guess. And then I thought I had one more pair. Yeah, there's one more pair. It's, it's buried in here somewhere. Oh, there it is. And uh, some Feeling Lucky socks. So I thought those were super, super cute. You know, I love my Dollar Tree socks. Um, they had some great little tote bags. And um, I'm going to actually turn these into canvas art. So they had this salty but sweet. And then they had this one, which goes really well with my, my arm tattoo that I have. And um, this one says, your attitude determines your direction, which I thought were cute. And um, I'm gonna make those, I'm gonna turn those into some artwork with some Dollar Tree canvases, actually. Um, they had these pot socks. I had seen these before, but they were always in patterns. And they have this one that's kind of burlapy looking. These are for eight inch pots, and uh, I was able to get two of them. And uh, they didn't have any eight inch pots at Dollar Tree, but they did have these, which I thought were kind of snazzy looking, these kind of terracotta looking ones. These are six inch pots. And um, at least that's what it says on the bottom. I think that says six. Ooh, my eyes. Oh, yeah. Maybe it says eight and a quarter. I don't know. I think it says six. And uh, I'm gonna try them on there. They might be too big for that and that's okay. But I like those pots regardless. They'll look great on my front steps. Um, and then they had this little guy. Look how cute that is. It looks like a little barrel, but what I really liked about it is there's no hole in it. So I think I'm gonna make a little tabletop fountain with this. So more to come there. Um, they had these dog toys, which I really liked. I bought three of them. So check out the colors, right? They had this one, which is kind of pinks and reds. And then they had that one, which was more like blues and grays. This is one I really wanted, but I couldn't find two of them. So I started playing with them and I think they're just rope. I think it's just rope that's like knotted up because you can untie them. And I thought if I could untie them, I could make 
a project with them. And so I had this idea and I think it's just rope. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play with that later on. But um, I bought three of those. I saw this lady on a Dollar Tree group that I'm in and she made the cutest gnome door hanger and she used one of these mop heads. Now I've seen the mop heads that are just the kind of white color, but I've not seen the gray and the white. So I'm gonna do that. Um, and I will totally, it's, it was like um, something Harmony. I forget the, the, the name of their channel, but it was so, so cute. I, I, I had to do it. And uh, she used one of these for it as well. So that I think is going to be a project that I'm going to be doing. And I will definitely give that woman credit who came up with that because it was so cute. Um, Let's see what else do I have here. I want to make sure that I'm getting everything. Batteries. Anytime I can find batteries, especially these C batteries at Dollar Tree, I will buy them because um, they last pretty well for me. I have some solar lights that are outside that are by a company called Ring, and uh, they are solar uh, lights, but then there's a few of them that I have that are battery operated, and they take C batteries, and this... They really do last a good time for a good long while, a good time. They're a good time. Battery, that's a good time. Um, I was able to get some utility stuff just for the craft room. Got some of these adhesive dots and then some of these like little Velcro fasteners. Again, they come on really, really handy. Um, and then I found this double-sided tape. I think I had seen this before at Crafter Square, but I had never bought it before. I bought a set of these dice because I have a project in mind for it and I actually only bought it so I could have one as a guide. More to come there. Um, I need some pens and pencils. Those are fun. Thought those were great. And pens, just utility stuff. And then when I was looking at the pencils, they had these two. So I bought those because I love some, like school supplies. I bought these, uh, these hooks, I think they're called universal tool hooks. Um, I'm thinking actually about a DIY project with these. So more to come there. And then um, I found one of these love signs. I think I had one of these already. I can't remember to be honest, um, more batteries. But um, I bought one of these just in case I didn't already have one. And if I had one, I'll do a giveaway or something with them. And uh, what else, what else, what else? They had this scarf that I thought could be kind of kind of cool for my head. Um, and then I bought this sign. I'm not gonna do anything with it, but hanging out on the wall, because I thought it was perfect. Sarcasm welcome. I thought it was cute. I bought one of these plastic pans. I've been looking for the Dollar Tree pizza pan but I can't find it. So this is gonna be my substitute for a project that I have coming up. And um, it's gonna incorporate that love sign that you just saw. And then some highlighters because I always need highlighters. Um, that's it, that's it. I didn't say it was a huge haul by any means, but it was definitely one that has some pretty cool stuff in it. And uh, I am going to continue to play around with this rope because I think this could be cool for a DIY. And if it works the way that I'm hoping it's going to work, see that? I don't know. I think it could be fun. So anyway, all right, guys, I'll let you get back to what you're doing. This is like the quickest haul in, in on record, I think, ever for me. But uh, hey, that's it. Oh, look, it does come apart. Oh, ho, ho. check that out. Check that out. All right. So, I'm going to probably braid this back together, or at least tighten a knot, so it doesn't continue to unravel. And uh, maybe you'll see a dog toy DIY from me very soon. All right, guys, take care. <laughs>